palpation of the TFL. Okay. Now we're just getting this. Yes, I asked. Great So yes, I asked. Drawn there. The sarcoid is coming off of it. Then TFL. The epimesial grooves outlined by the marker. And then you have the greater trochanter there. Anterior fibers of glute medius will also help us find anterior fibers of glute minimus. You can feel, as you perpendicularly palpate the TFL, you will fall off posteriorly. Yeah. Once you fall okay. off posteriorly, you will drop down onto those anterior fibers of glute medius. Okay? There we are, and glute so, medius on the posterior aspect. If we're perpendicularly you fall palpating off the TFL the from this that differentiates uh, position, them. we can't move the ASIS. Okay? So we have to think about moving the trochanter relative to the ASIS to create some length within these fibers of the TFL. Okay, now that we've so how is that going to work? So palpated the TFL, we're going to go the femur into parallel extension, with them to the fibers the that is. going to away from the ASIS this way, and then I can start to move the femur down into adduction, which is also going to create the ability to lengthen or create that assessment zone of the TFL. Okay? So and that's how I'm going to assess the TFL. TFL here. Mm -hmm. And he brings you into extension. So yep. I'm in parallel yep. with the fibers. And or then the, the adduction and external rotation. Into the tension there. 